Hello! It is, as of recording this, October 12th, 2018. I just did a live stream. I'm now a little bit um, sweaty. Whew! Because I'm just bringing everything up and down the stairs. There's a lot of gear, and I am going to be going on this vlogging adventure alone! That's the first time I think ever in the history of my channel where Alexander's not gonna be with me, so I'm gonna be talking to you guys probably more often than not, and I don't know what I just smeared across the lens, but it actually looks really pretty. I'm on my way to Rock and Shock 2018, which is in Worcester, Massachusetts, and I am definitely running late. It is 10 minutes before the doors open, and I'm two hours away. It is time to drive, and I am not going to vlog and drive. Sorry, but I will talk to you later. Bye! Okay, so I made it in. And right now I'm kind of just looking for the trick-or-treat radio setup because that's where everybody that I know is. <laughs> Found him! Hello! <laughs> Okay, so I'm here. As you saw, I did make it in, and I wandered around for like a moment. Uh, but honestly, I feel so weird being here without Alex. I miss you, Alex. <laughs> Tomorrow I need to be nice and social. You know, make some friends, talk to people. <laughs> I get so weirdly nervous sometimes, but tomorrow I'm gonna go home and be like, yes! I am Jeanette Andromeda and I am an annoying vlogger because if I am an annoying vlogger then at least I will talk to people instead of just showing up and being like I gotta go now, bye! <laughs> um, but next is the concert um, for the Deadites so I'm going to show up there at least Oh, look at that reflection Wow, so pretty But yeah, I'm gonna go to the uh, can gonna go to the concert for a hot minute. Yeah, okay, I'm nervous, but I can do this. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna go to the concert and hang out for a bit and support my friends, and we'll go from there. Right? Right. <laughs> I am back at Rock and Shock for Saturday, and um, I'm determined to go in with a confident personality. Definitely, I think the wig and cosplay will help a little bit. I'm wearing Sally again today. I am super late. I'm, I'm pretty much just in time to watch the Trick or Treat radio record live. <laughs> I'm gonna go in. I'm going to record everything. It's going to be great. I'm going to have fun at Rock and Shock. I'm probably going to spend a little money on something cute because there's some really cute books with some lovely gothy things that I need in my life. I already saw that with the brief, like, panicked walkthrough I did last night. I don't know why I was so nervous last night. I really was genuinely nervous. I was like, I don't know if I should be here. But today, I'm here. I'm here to help people out. I'm here to help support them, and if I go in with that attitude, then I won't get nervous because it's not about me, it's about the people I'm going to talk to. Now that I'm here, it's time for Rock and Shock. Alright guys, let's get to the panel room. I've been majorly distracted. So we, we typically do horror, I would say 90% horror, but we do stray outside a little bit, like we do some action stuff, and yeah. like low life definitely, I was always more of a sort of crime, <laughs> yeah, crime comedy, Insane. yeah, Explo And w one of the cool things about doing it is, a lot of times we never know when the director is actually listening to the show. <laughs> which uh, has happened a few times. We've had directors call in angry voicemails. So Every time Bill is on shit later. on the show, the director is listening. 
This is true. Yeah, we did actually have uh, the direct Andy Nyman, the director of Ghost Stories, listen to our episode. And I saw he came back and posted on Twitter about it. Yeah, I I commented. Bad because I kind of said it's not his thing. <laughs> But it, it is kind of interesting because you never know who's who's listening. So we did have one. It was the ghastly love of Johnny X. Oh boy! Oh yeah! And uh, that was one from years ago. I think uh, I think we were kind of some we were mostly lukewarm on it. Some hated it, and uh, so apparently the director listened to our show. And uh, the next week he sent us a kind of a angry voicemail, and, and he was actually really nice about it. But he was you could tell he was a little angry. But eventually we ended up having him on the show, uh, which was kind of a, a cool little. Turn around, and he, he was, you know, he was a good guest. And he was, he was sure good. So say hello. What's your name? My name's Steve Van Sampson. I'm a horror author. He wrote this. I the wrote, Bone Eater King. I wrote that postcard. Oh, the postcard. I wrote the postcard. This is all I've done. Oh, wow. This is, this is my body of work. We're no, suddenly I, less impressed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I have two books. The Bone Eater King is the first one, and the sequel is called Narrow Dust. It's a series of like post-apocalyptic uh, vampires set in Africa. My big thing was, like, okay, vampires, but they're not going to be pasty white dudes. That's what I'm saying. I love it. I mean, this guy's pretty pasty gray. So, I would say that the uh, the printout came out a little light. He is, yeah. uh, he is gray. Okay. He's specifically the only gray one. They're all, they are all like pure obsidian black, except for him. There's a, there's a very good reason why he's the only gray one. That's really cool. The first book is really figuring out who this guy is. And you don't know his name. He's the man in red. He starts out and he's he, he's amnesiac. He has no idea where he is, why he is, where he is. So imagine this, you're, you wake up and the first thing that you see are your own bloody hands and you are just out in the savannah and endless nighttime and grasslands as far as you can see and you don't know where, how you got there, you don't remember who you are and then there are just eyes in the distance, in the dark, and they start to laugh. And what do you do? It's Kim from the Scrape Sisters podcast. Look at that. Go listen to them. They're amazing. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Uh, we're going to go this way because this is a different direction this time. And oh my gosh. There's so much I need to come back and actually look at, guys. <laughs> I see friends! Look, it's Patsy, the angry nerd! It is. I'm not overly angry at the moment, though. I'm actually having a good time. Oh, good. Well, then that's a good time. Also, hello. Hello. Oh, this is Ash's Bum Nightmare and, and people I, I don't know. It's but spicy I Christian. do know Spicy Christian. <laughs> This is Spicy Christian's dad. Hello, Spicy Christian's dad. If you don't want to be on camera, I will cut that out. Please let me know. <laughs> Hi, Christian. Hello. Hi. Let me let me do this like yeah. nice dramatic thing. This isn't awkward at all. Hello, friend. No, that actually really is awkward. But thankfully, we've talked a little bit, so it's not entirely it's terrible. It's cool. I mean, I'm awkward anyway. You're going to catch me. Like, somebody's going to freeze frame this, and it's going to be like, you know, like that face. So I'm just going to make that face throughout the interview just so. Perfect. Just, just yeah, exactly. So it's yeah. intentional. So just for consistency's sake. <laughs> so this is Holy Crow. Hi, my name is Meff. M-E-F-F. -F. It's like Jeff, but with an M. Uh, Rowan, anything but he, him, please. Yes, gotcha. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, Rowan and I are members of a queer and trans witch collective called the Witch Hunt Collective, where we are all teaching each other different practices and different forms of magic. Uh, we're learning tarot together, um, divination, uh, herbalism, uh, different spell casting, different kinds of different kinds of studies of spell casting, different tradition, ritual work, um, as well as just kind of 
queer solidarity, kind of teaching each other how to be a community, how to be a family, like queer family, the importance of queer family, the importance of queer eldership, because we do not produce sexually, we just have fun sexually. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know. How's it work for you? Because I'm old and Rowan is not. So. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fun. It's a good space for me to, like, be myself outside of, like, my home. Uh, like, it, it's just good. Like, I can wear this shit. Yeah. You know? Also, like, like and it's fine. Rowan is I gotta zoom, like, you really look baller. This is, like, like this is my gender right here. Yeah, yeah. But, it's like... Totally. I don't know, it's, it's been really good in terms of like exploring myself in that way, as well as learning so much stuff about witchcraft and queer magic, and it's been great. It's been really, really great. And I get to be an old queer with a bunch of cats and some sailing, so... Which is rent. I'm living the dream. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. I, you know, after I got over my, um, I should probably turn on a light or something. Does that help? I don't know if that helps. But after I got over my nervousness, I ended up having a lot of fun. This is going to be an interesting vlog. I have no idea what this is going to turn out to be, but I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and let me know if you like these vloggy adventure type things. I definitely like having an excuse to go places and travel. Anyone that I met and interviewed or chatted with or whatever, if they have a podcast, a Instagram, something that's all going to be in the description below. And just to everyone at Rock and Shock, thank you for making me just, you guys are my family. You know, I, I am so blessed to have such amazing people in my life. So I thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love you guys. And I will see you next week. <coughs> also, I'm losing my voice. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye!